This is DITW Anatomy and Physiology, and you are watching the video on simple columnar epithelial tissue. Simple columnar epithelial tissue is an epithelial tissue comprised of a single layer of cells which take on a more column or rectangle shape. Since this tissue is comprised of a single layer, you will typically find this tissue in areas where absorption and secretion are important. Some places of the body where you will find simple columnar epithelial tissue include the villi of the small intestine and the inner tissue lining of the trachea. The villi, known singularly as villus, of the small intestines are the small projections which completely line the small intestine. The small projections provide a greater surface area for the absorption of food and liquids in the small intestine, more so than if the intestine had a flat surface. The villi are lined with simple columnar epithelial tissue and is the initial barrier that broken down food and liquids make their way past to be absorbed into the body's circulation. Another place to find simple columnar epithelial tissue is the inner lining tissue of the trachea. The innermost tissue lining of the trachea consists of goblet cells, which produce mucus, and a special type of columnar epithelial tissue which have small hair-like projections called cilia. This special columnar epithelial is meant to propel mucus that is produced by goblet cells up the trachea where they will be coughed up or swallowed. Columnar epithelial tissue which have these cilia are normally referred to as ciliated columnar epithelial tissue. For more information regarding other tissues, please see my other videos on my page. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up below. Please leave any anatomy and physiology questions in the comment section below. And make sure to subscribe to know when more anatomy and physiology videos become available. Again, thank you.